They are stocking guys. And he has landed. I need to catch a bass. If we feel like it, we can maybe try Boulder Harbor. Made a quick pit stop, Boulder Harbor. It is pulling his line out, holy cow. This is how you do it guys, you get out here before the sun is even fully up. Your HOA, grow corn on your front lawn. <laughs> Howdy. What are we getting, boy? Just like that, we are here, guys, at the always beautiful Willow Beach. It's beautiful. I'm gonna skip the long intro today and just get right into fishing. So, we got here on the pier, and uh, it's pretty busy here, but Seems like everybody's just waiting for them to stock the fish. So it gave us a little bit of time to set up our rods. On this white pole, I have a Panther Martin spinner. And on this red pole, I have a drop shot that I'm gonna put some worms on. Later on in the day, if we were, if I'm not able to get anything, I might put some eggs on too. Cause you know, we like our eggs. They are stocking guys. Perks of getting here early. Horns on his first. Woohoo. Sheldon got his first. Sorry, didn't record. <laughs> We're out here catching these trout this morning. At this point, we realized that it was going to be really difficult. To the left of Lauren and I, you can't see him in the video, but there are 10 or 12 other people that we're also fishing. And it was kind of hard to maneuver around, make sure not we're not gonna hit anybody, tie up lines or anything like that. So yeah, it was it was kind of difficult fishing with all those people there. Uh, yeah, super busy day right when they stock. But Lauren was able to get onto his second one right here. Lauren on his second. Four up, please. Here you go. We also realized too that we kind of had to wait for our spinner to sink a little bit, get down to the bottom and then start reeling it in. Um, the fish were down there at the bottom pretty low. There wasn't really any vegetation. It seemed like a lot of that was cleared out. But yeah, those trout were down there pretty low and so we had to wait for the spinner to get down to the bottom uh, before we start reeling in, you know, jigging it a little bit. And yeah, um, you could tell the fish were kind of lethargic they weren't just eating on anything i got no bites on my worms uh the entire time um and like at the beginning i said i was going to switch to some eggs i did end up switching to some eggs later on in the day and nothing on that either they were biting on those spinners um yeah you kind of had to get it in their face you just had to be right there in front of them um, i'd imagine that getting put in the truck brought over here and then getting dumped into the water you know riles them up you know mixes them up a little bit and yeah, they're probably pretty lethargic at that point, but we kept fishing and yeah, you can see there in the back, there's all those people uh, to the right of us as well and to the left of us was just packed. The whole pier was just full of people. Um, and again, yeah, hard to, hard to record when, then, when there's that many people around. Pretty difficult to pull out the camera and just start talking to it. So I set up the camera like this just as we were fishing um figured i'd do a voiceover to explain a little bit but yeah if you look at the water i know i'm kind of covering it pretty good but that water is moving to the left uh pretty fast um, we realized when we cast our spinners in that they would quickly be uh following that current towards the left where all those people were that i was talking about so yeah just to kind of go to the to the point that I was saying it was hard to not to get in anybody's way you know you want to respect everybody's boundaries it's a little hard when there's that many people there but we uh, we had fun either way it was fun to be there 
when the truck got there. We had never been there before, right when they stock. We usually come either uh, later in the day um, that the truck stocks or the next day, next kind of morning early. Um, yeah, so we were, we were fishing these trout. You know, people were catching them here and there. I feel like after a little while, the trout dispersed. And then of course, uh, stripers were coming in and eating some of them. So the numbers dwindled. People were, you know, putting them on stringers and taking them home to eat. We were just casting and releasing them as always. Um, but yeah, the number of trout dropped down. Um, I would imagine though, after everybody leaves, uh, that, you know, into the evening time, those trout come back to hide in that dock, get out of the sun a little bit. So I got this shot here. You can tell um, as I cast my spinner in that that water's taking it to the left. Right here I'm watching it uh, and letting it sink a little bit, pulling some line out. But yeah, you can see it's getting dragged all the way to the left. And there was a guy not too far right to the left of me, so I had to be careful again. But yeah, just to show you what the water conditions were, I'm just pulling all of our stuff down the river to the left. So, but yeah, Lauren and I were just throwing spinners the whole time. And uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. I caught that one at the beginning. I wasn't able to catch any more later on. Um, but yeah, Lauren was able to hook onto a few that day. Because, you know, he's Lauren. And he's, you know, the trout whisperer. The dude knows what he's doing. So, <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to stop talking. Uh, let you watch this video. Uh, it's always chill out there, even with all that many people. It's chill, it's peaceful. So I'm gonna let the tape roll and enjoy the sounds and the nature. What number, Lore? Number three. Number three. Okay. Oh, and he spit it. There he goes. They're spitting them. <laughs> Lauren on number four. Let's see if he can get this one in. And he landed. Oh, he line, but there he goes. Nice. Well, guys, the bite has slowed down a lot. We've uh, switched out a couple spinners. Lost a couple spinners, unfortunately. Um, Lauren's trying some spoons. Um, I have one. How many one more? I think you had four. Yeah. I think Lauren's on four and I'm on three. Or, excuse me. I think Lauren's on four and I'm on one. So, I need to get onto another one here. Point five. guys on um i've seen them on tiktok they'll have like two guys facetiming each other or well they're like on tiktok together but they're like do it they're having a Yu Gi Oh battle with each other over tiktok live <laughs> it's like crazy and everybody just like, yeah and they got like the they got like the arm things yeah. and stuff oh i'm filming the whole thing 
What up, Twitter world? What up, Twitter world? We feel like it. We can maybe try Boulder Harbor. Let's do it. All right, guys. Um, slow down a ton. We're gonna pack up and get out of here. But uh, I think we're gonna head over to Boulder Harbor. We're loving Boulder Harbor recently, and I need to catch a bass. So we're gonna uh, clean up, head over to Boulder Harbor. So we'll catch you back there. What up, Twitter world? What up, Twitter world? Watch this! Watch this crazy transition. Watch this. Watch this crazy. Guys, watch this crazy transition. As you can see, folks, it is a full house here at Willow Beach. Okay, guys, we uh, made a quick pit stop, got some gas, <laughs> and, um, and now, guess where we are? In the middle of a massive parking lot. I'm just kidding. We are at Boulder Harbor. This is our third time at Boulder Harbor in the last three weeks. We've been at Boulder Harbor every week, the last three weeks. Um, so, yeah, we wrapped it up at Willow Beach. We're over here at Boulder Harbor now, and we're hoping to get on some bass. Wish us luck. I have not been able to catch one yet. So Lauren just caught the tiniest little striper. Okay, it's a striper. Okay. <laughs> Put it above your head. That's a money fish. <laughs> Put it above your head. <laughs> the tiniest little striper, guys. He caught it on a worm. A worm. Woo woo. It is pulling his line out. Holy cow. Tighten it. Is it still on there? That thing was pulling drag like crazy. See that? <laughs> What do you think it is? I don't know, dude. Striper. Catfish. catfish. Big old catfish. Yes. Woo! Put up a good fight, too. Catfish. Or got catfish. Orange on a real good catfish. Nice, dude. Nice. Nice cat lore. Thanks. Guys, look a little frog. It's a little frog. See that? Yep. Is it a frog try to catch it. Well, I don't know, but try to catch it. I think you can get down there without scaring it. Oh, here he goes. Cute. <laughs> wow, that was riveting. <laughs> More not another one. You got the. Do you have the forceps? Nice. Oh, you got a bluegill? Yeah, dude. Nice. That's my fourth species of the day. Nice. Just hooked up on this little guy. Let's see if we can get this hook out of his mouth. But uh, fourth species of the day. Sheldon's over there trying. We've been having luck with bait. So we'll get this guy back in the water. Lauren's on another one, guys.
Dude, my skin is freaking bacon right now. Are you sure? We totally missed it, but Lord's pole just almost went in the water and he dove for it. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Do you have something on it still? Yep. Are you sure? He dove for it, it almost went in the water. It was literally pulling it into the water. So whatever this is, ought to be big. It's probably a catfish, I'd guess. My guess would be. What is it, catfish? Yep. Nice. Oh my gosh. Another cat. Oh, he's bleeding. He Fish dove. And money. Fish and money. Fish and money. Blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears to get those fish. Bro is bleeding for a catfish. Yeah, don't get, don't get hooked. I'm not. I have bad luck today, guys. Um, I have bad luck every day. Horns on another one. Go figure. All right, guys. Here's an update. I've caught one trout back at Willow Beach. Update for Lauren. He caught four trout at Willow Beach. If you're counting the ones that I didn't land. He's caught three catfish, a bluegill, and a striper. Four catfish, a bluegill, and a striper. So something must be seriously wrong with me. Well, guys, we're going to end it there. Thank you so much for watching today. We got to two different places today. How many species altogether did we get today? Um, we got, I think, four. Four. So we got rainbow trout. We got... Sunfish. I think, I think it was either a sunfish or a bluegill. Sunfish, bluegill, um, catfish, catfish. and striper. And striper. Well, Lauren did. I got one trout earlier today, but that's okay. We are hot. That sun is brutal, and we are ready to get out of here and go get a drink. So... Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit that like button down below. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. I think like over 90% of our viewers are not subscribed. So if you've watched multiple of our videos, hit that subscribe button down below. Alrighty, thank you so much. See you guys, peace. Want a fishing money sticker just like this logo here? Then hit the link in the description below.